Here is a riddle. What do you, a stop sign, and a rubber ball have in common? You all exist in and are set off by space. This is true of all objects. Some objects are recognizable because of their shape or form alone. Even without seeing the letters or red color, you could identify a stop sign. You would recognize its octagonal shape. Even in the dark, you could identify a rubber ball. You would feel its round form. Shape, form, and space are closely related. In this lesson, you will learn about these elements and their special place in art. After completing this lesson, you will be able to explain the difference between shape and form, distinguish between geometric and freeform shapes or forms, define space and negative space, and identify at least three techniques used to suggest space and two-dimensional art. Supplies. White drawing paper, pencils for sketching, and rulers. To an artist, a shape is an area clearly set off by one or more of the other five visual elements of art. Shapes exist in two dimensions. They have length and width, but not depth. Shapes are flat. All shapes are one of two types. Geometric shapes are precise, mathematical shapes. They look as though they were made with a ruler, compass, or other special tool. The square, circle, and triangle are among the most common geometric shapes. The rectangle and oval are others. Geometric shapes are mostly, though not always, made by people. Examine this painting. Which geometric shapes has the artist used? How many of these shapes can you find in the work? Freeform shapes are not regular or even. Such shapes are found throughout nature. The outline of a lake is a freeform shape. So is the outline of your hand. The artwork in this image is made up of a number of freeform shapes. How many different shapes can you find? Like shapes, forms have height and width. Unlike shapes, they also have a third dimension, depth. Form is an element of art that refers to an object with three dimensions. When you hold a book in your hand, you are experiencing its form in three dimensions, height, width, and depth. Forms are grouped as geometric or free form, much as shapes are. An aluminum can is an example of the geometric form called cylinder. Rocks and clouds, by contrast, are free form. So is the stack of wheat in this image. Yeah. In art, a close relationship exists between shapes and forms. A two-dimensional circle and three-dimensional sphere have the same round outline. A two-dimensional square can be stretched into a third dimension to become a cube. These and other shape form relations are shown in this image. Yeah. All objects take up space. Space is the distance or area between, around, above, below, and within things. Space is empty until shapes or forms fill it. In some works of art, space is real. In others, it is only suggested. Compare these artworks. The first is an example of sculpture. It exists in three dimensions. If you were viewing this work in person, you could walk around it. You could enter its space and appreciate its form. The second work of art is a painting. The scene looks very realistic and lifelike. If you tried to move forward into it, however, you would bump into a flat surface. The artist who painted the street scene in this image used several techniques to capture the feeling of deep space. Artists have developed a number of such techniques. These include the following. Linear perspective. The lines of buildings, roads, and similar objects are slanted. 
This makes them appear to come together or meet in the distance. Size. Distant objects are made smaller than objects that are close up. Overlapping. Nearer shapes and forms overlap or partly cover those meant to appear farther away. Placement. Distant objects are placed higher up in the picture. Closer ones are placed lower down. Intensity and value. The colors of objects meant to appear in the distance are lower in intensity than objects meant to appear nearer. They are also lighter in value. Detail. More detail is added to closer objects and less detail is added to those in the distance. Which of these techniques was used in this image? What other steps has the artist taken to make form seem to stand out in space? When it comes to the element of space, there is one question every artist must answer. That is the question of how much negative space to build into a work. Negative space is the empty spaces between the shapes or forms in two and three dimensional art. How the artist answers the question about negative space will affect the viewer's reaction to the work. Look at this image. There is far more negative space than form to this work. The abundance of negative space gives it a light, airy feel. Contrast this with the negative space in this image. This sculpture seems heavier and more compact because there is less negative space. Little negative space in a painting or drawing makes the work look busy. A lot of negative space can express calm, peace, or even loneliness. Studio activity, Notan art. Notan is a Japanese term that literally means light, dark harmony. A Notan uses an extremely limited range of values. In its most strict form, just black and white. In its more liberal form, black, white, and a midtone. For this project, you will need two pieces of construction paper of the same size, scissors, and glue. Step 1. Cut your colored paper in half. Step 2. On the half of the paper you aren't using, experiment with designs that won't be too difficult or complicated to cut out. Step 3. Draw your chosen designs on the other half of the paper. All designs should be drawn from the edges of the paper. Step 4. Begin to cut out your design and place the cutout pieces on the opposite side of your paper. In order to stay organized, glue your pieces down one by one.